Looking fly as fuck! That day Damn. during recess, you start a half-hour rave that goes full crazy. You have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point there are like 300 people. Someone summons demons from a nightmare dimension. The consequences might distort the fabric of reality itself, but who cares? That's a rad party. You gain two fun. Oh my god. Damn. You motherfucker, you, you were fun. Then you realize you're feeling like you're going full ghost with your blanket again. Yes! You're observing your surroundings when you spot Miranda and Damien. Yes! You're about to get closer when suddenly... Greetings, my loves. Greetings, beautiful high schoolers! It is I, the interdimensional prince. He's getting a lot of play this time. He really right? is. I'm here to rescue you from your mundane existence. Just sign these marriage papers. Oh my god. Not this guy again. Look! Whoa! Gasp! An underworld specter! This again? What again? Liam, this is clearly a kick-ass powerful ghost. Look at its face. It's so deadpan. No expression at all. That's because it's not a face. It's a sheet with two holes cut in it. Man, I wish my face had two holes cut in it. Technically does, I that guess. That would be <laughs> fucking right. metal. At least four. Yeah. No, listen, it's not a face, it's... Ghost friend, help us! Save us from this interdimensional creep! Yeah, do something. Something fucking ghostly. Hmm. Who or throw a rock at the interdimensional prince? Mm. <laughs> Levitate of a, a an international... Or an inter you can do it. You know what I'm, you know Levitate what I'm saying. Levitate the inter interdimensional prince's cell phone? Oh no. Boo! Whoa, do you see that? Real goosebumps. This fucker doesn't fuck around. My apologies, beautiful high schoolers. What exactly is boo? We don't have that many ghosts in my realm. It's a super spooky ghost thing. You should run for your life. Yeah, interden- Yeah, interden- It- I can't even say that word. Interdimensional loser. It's like a super legit ghost thing. This ghost is probably about- Probably about to unleash its ghostly rage upon you. Are you sad that you didn't get the sheet? Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> there are other things you can pick. Oh, I know. Be ready for a hundred years of misery. She just said boo. Can you stop all this stupidity? Beautiful Liam has a point. Yet fierce Damien and wonderful Miranda show much, so much energy in their affirmations that I cannot help but believe them. The vocal energy is my main criteria when following my various advisors' advice. So today, I shall retreat into my dimension, but fear not, my beloved high schoolers, the interdimensional prince will be back for you. God, I oh fucking my. hope not. <laughs> and so he disappears into another annoying portal. <laughs> so, metal ghost person. You made him retreat with a single boot. So brave. He retreated because of what you two idiots told him. He said so in front of us just a minute ago. Liam. Really? Sometimes I wish your face was a sheet with two holes cut in it, so that way you couldn't say anything anything annoying. 24-7. Whatever. What? Little ghost friends save the day again! Huzzah! They leave, running and screaming about how cool you are. What the fuck with your classmates, really? Anyway, you gain two boldness and one charm. What the fuck is this? Huh? <laughs> Just this whole thing with the sheet is Let's so trade awesome. Places. Everybody choose a food. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Panini. Ramen. You motherfucker. <laughs> Pork fried rice! Alright. Player order is decided based on how plausible the chosen food would be as a vehicle for government mind control. For my Panini, pork fried rice, and ramen. I There's a ramen. lot of shit that, that you can put in a, in the ramen that a is ramen. virtually undetectable. Especially because it's got, you know, broth. Kind of everything. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, we'll go with ramen. Yep. And then yours was pork fried rice? Yeah. Mmm. I'm gonna need Nicodemus's input. Mm. Paninis can paninis. Well, depending on where you get them, which for the most part is I'll give you through my, government. I'll give you my justification because I will. I will say. I will also say paninis yeah. because cheese can have bad cow disease. Hey! Oh shit! They could totally spike the cheese. <laughs> so I go second then. Yeah. All right. It's lunchtime. A lama. All right, where do you sit? Throw me at the table with the ghost. Oh, I thought you meant me, sorry. Yeah, right <laughs> there. Right there. <laughs> okay. Scott and Polly are sitting together, laughing at their meta laughing their metaphorical asses off. Do Damien, do Damien! 
Grr, I'm Damien. Look at me. Uh, look at my stupid red face. It's so hard to do an accent in, in with an impression at the same time. I use violence to cover up the fact that I've been brought up uh, uh, bleh, uh, to revere a toxic version of masculinity, which has alienated me from my own true emotions. <laughs> you sound exactly like him. Okay, okay, you do Vera. I'm Vera. I'm so smart. My hair's like pretty, and all my friends look up to me because I'm so strong and an independent woman. What a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> like... Scott, I'm not sure you understand how impressions work. I'm not Scott, I'm Vera. You can tell because I said my name just now. So he's method. <laughs> method, method acting, yes. Fuck, yeah. Okay, what about Blue? Got any good impressions? Just one, but it's a real doozy. Woof woof, it's me Scott, a dog boy who is bad at impressions. <laughs> Look at me, I'm Polly. Look at me go! Ooh. Mmm. Ooh. Mm. You're going for Polly, aren't you? No, no yeah. you're going for uh, Vera. Yes. Oh, God. So who do you want to piss off? The werewolf or the ghost? The werewolf. Woof woof, it's me, Scott, dog boy who's bad at impressions. That's a good one. Yeah, there we go. I know you're- oh, sorry. I know you're doing an impression to me because you said my name, but- Oh my god, that sounds exactly oh like him! It does? Yeah, remember that time we took impression class together and we had to introduce ourselves? Oh yeah, I guess I did say woof woof, it's me, Scott, a dog boy who's bad at impressions. <laughs> but I didn't yell it like that. I'm sorry, are you the real Scott? There's two abs absolutely identical werewolves in front of me, and I can't tell the difference. Polly insists on smooching- on I'm uncomfortable with how good I am at the Polly voice! To determine who the real Scott is, you end up winning in more ways than one. Hey, Red. I'm going out with Vera. Yeah, there you go. You find Damien and Vera contemplating a huge slab of unidentifiable prime meat. Ooh. All right, Damien. I know we had our share, our fair share of disagreements during this convoluted poaching expedition. Like when you told me not to bring all my fucking knives. But I can't. Uh, but I trust we can now put our differences behind us and enjoy the fruits of our labors. You mean the meats of my labors? Yes, together. We will enjoy this raw, bloody cut of meat as a symbol of our... Wait, raw and bloody? You mean you're not even going to try using fire on it? Oh my god, it's a gorgon and a Of course demon. I used fire. I specifically instructed the chef to prepare this meat while glancing briefly at a lit stove. Oh my god. That's a reference. <laughs> Is it? Did the fire oh. ever, you know, touch the meat? Ah, uh, Cody gave me a face. Whoa. <laughs> what would be the point of that? I cut this fu- I cut this fine can only- What? Wow, I cut this, I cut this fucked up. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I cut this fine, fine can only, can be, only be extra rare. Eaten. Ultra, Ultra rare. rare. Even I got it wrong. <laughs> like hell it can. You wait here while I get my culinary flamethrower. Damien, please, let's be reasonable about this. What is reasonable? If we can't come to an agreement, let's appeal to an arbitrary third party. Red will surely make an intelligent choice for us. Isn't that right? Red? I don't want to get in the middle. My word, I mean, the oh. steak is too cooked already. Rub some ice on it and douse it in blood, quick. The only correct way to enjoy a steak is after its charred remains have been retrieved from a burning building. I gotta rub the ice on that shit. Quite right, quite right. Someone turn off the heat, get a frosted wizard at- Oh, get a, a frosted, frosted wizard? wizard. <laughs> You're a blizzard, like a Harry. Yeah. Fetch me more blood from the blood bank. Skulls from the Somewhere skull Liam is what looking around nervously. What the fuck? I'm not gonna eat a big chunk of raw meat. How am I supposed to ensure maximum suffering without fire? Cut the baby in half. Oh darn. <laughs> because Guess I'm gonna it have to part. enjoy this whole juicy steak by myself. <laughs> the top. Whatever. I'm gonna go burn down a burger joint and eat whatever survives the fire. Metal shard. Good for you, Damien. Live your best life. Vera slips you a thick stack of cash under the table. Unfortunately, oh. she pays you in Vera bucks. I got so excited and it was immediately brought back down. More fortunately, your stack of Vera bucks is redeemable for four and a half minutes of intimate eye contact. Juicy. <gasps> there you go. Ooh, sure. shit.